Hello everyone, my name is Bob, and this is episode 6 of Cheapo Space Program. Uh, now we are planning to, uh, to do our uh, very ill-advised and reckless, uh, maybe possibly even insane, uh, attempt to, uh, make, uh, to journey to uh, Duna uh, before long. Uh, but we have a couple things we want to do clear up um, before we get there, so let's get started. Uh, now, I've got uh, two space stations up now. One is the Cheapo space station, and the other is a Palute station. I'm going to phase out the Cheapo space station uh, and just let it drift forever like a flying Dutchman in space um, while I shift my focus onto the Palute. Uh, and um, we got two things coming up for that. Uh, one is, uh, it's real handy if we could actually manage to... Uh, uh, to get more than one astronaut at a time up to the station, seeing as how it's got an occupancy right now of four. Um, so, with that in mind, we want to test out a new type of rocket. The Cheapo Command Module. Load. And here it is. Uh, now I have no real way of knowing for sure whether this is going to even work. Um, uh, it's uh, at least this, this thing here is pretty heavy, so um, it may work, it may not. Uh, we don't know. I've not tested it. Um, uh, since there's going to be uh, three precious Kerbal lives on this, I've got actually an abort system this time, something that would um, allow us to uh, to uh, jettison the uh, uh, and you know do a safe abort uh, in the event that. Uh, in the event that um, something goes horribly wrong, <laughs> uh, which basically means uh, uh, separating this, firing these, as it shoots it away from the cluster frack, uh, that maybe enveloping uh, it around it, uh, and then it can come down on the parachute. So, uh, and um, why exactly I have uh, two decouplers here, I'm not absolutely sure. Uh, since I didn't, didn't want to. Be in a position where I'm actually, I wanted to, to kind of smooth out this this line here, but I didn't want to actually land on this thing because that, that thing has a very low impact on us. So I guess that possibly could be why. Uh, it's also part of the port system here. Uh, it has the rockets on it. Uh, so um, let's see. Oh, and uh, there's also another. Hold on. Let's switch back to parts. Uh, I also have another module to add to the uh, station. Uh, which would be the, um, the, uh, the, uh, where is it? Palute Science Module. <coughs> so this make the, make the uh, third uh, major module to add to the Palute Station. Um, and, uh, so I might want to lo launch that first. Uh, although I, I think uh, that the uh, possibility for catastrophic fail is greater with the um, cheap of command module, so I probably should launch that first. Uh, let's yeah, let's uh, let's do that first. I can always have this one catch up later. Cheap of command module. Uh, and we're going to commit uh, three precious, precious Kerbal lives to this. Uh, rocket. Uh, I have no idea whether it's going to get to orbit. Um, it's totally a mystery. Uh, you may notice I've, I've um, uh, made some changes to the. Um, uh, I had, I'd had previously had a docking port on the side here and a uh, and a um, robotic control module sticking out the other side. Now, now I've got the uh, robotic control module for the uh, booster here, so I can deorbit it, uh, and the uh, docking port. All, all in a line here, which probably would have made sense to do to begin with, but you know, too soon old, too late smart. Uh, and let's actually um, let's actually reinforce that right quick. Now that looks kind of wonky. Okay. All right, staging. Boom, boom. Hopefully not literally. Boom. Okay. And that drops and drop that drops. This thing lights up, and then this thing uh, drops. Uh, probably should have the uh, parachute on its own thing. There we go. 
Save. And let's launch. My micro probe was uh, something I was just uh, to uh, go off. Okay, we, we got um, uh, Bob Kerman, uh, Jebediah Kerman, who I brought down from the Cheapo Space Station because I'm, I'm uh, uh, abandoning the Cheapo Space Station in favor of the Palu. Uh, so he's with us today. Both Space Hero Bob and should have been the Space Hero Jebediah are, are on this rocket. So we definitely need to um, be ready to uh, do that whole abort thing if need be. <coughs> Save their uh, their dear lives. Uh, Bob is running away from um, all the women in publicity uh, of his recent flight, uh, wanting, wanting to have a long duration space flight in the uh, Palio station. So we're going to oblige him. Okay, bottle maximum SAS on. Uh, and three, two, one. What the hell? What the hell is going on? I'm getting like 10 G's just sitting still. What the hell is happening? Seriously, what the hell? Is that more than one SAS module in this thing, or what the hell is happening? Alright, well, let's see what, see what happens here. Alright, well, it's acting less wonky now. I don't know what the hell is up. We're getting, okay, we're getting serious vibrations here. And it is the SAS that's causing it. Okay, well, this is a excellent opportunity to test out the abort system. <laughs> get up to a reasonable altitude. Oh, we can test it now. Okay. Ah, oh, Sigmi and uh, Jebediah are happy. Bob is not that unhappy. Uh, we're going to be raining a whole lot of debris on the uh, launch pad here, but hey, it's all good. I'm going fast as hell, though. What the hell? Why am I going so fast? Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Booyah! Booyah! I might want to consider putting a drogue on that. Okay, well, a successful test of the emergency abort system. <laughs> it worked uh, exactly as I uh, hoped it would. And we know some th some good things now. Uh, one of those good things that we know is somehow or other that SAS is just totally screwing everything up. Uh, it's totally screwing the poochie. Yeah, you you boys just walk out and walk walk to the assembly building. No problems. But dunk. Okay, we'll end this flight and try to figure out what the hell went wrong. Okay, I'm gonna to uh, uh, play with this thing off camera. See see what I did wrong and how I can fix it. You know what they say: if it can't be fixed with space tape, it can't be fixed. All right, let's see if it still freaks out when I hit the SAS. Not quite as bad, but it does freak out. But not quite as bad. Let's see what, how how it goes. Okay, standing by on the all important abort button. In three, two, one. Oh, as you can see, I added a drogue parachute to the command module as well. Uh, 
However, all that weight's going to take a toll. Standing by for first aid separation. First stage separation and second stage ignition. Standing by for gravity turn at 13,000 meters. Okay, guys, I remember to pack the oxygen and everything. Okay, okay. Jebediah's happy as uh, Sigmi and Bob are pretty dubious. Okay, whoop, missed my gravity turn. Okay, yeah, I forgot to connect. Okay. This will be another important situation. Yeah. We're going to assume that these guys would have made it back, back okay. I forgot to hook up the tubing. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, that's an important thing. Got to hook up the tubes. Okay, well that was just a dry run. That was just for practice. Okay. Oops, no. I thought the first stage lasted uh, a little extra long, <sighs> so I hadn't set up my tubes. You gotta set up your tubes. Okay. Save and launch. Yeah, Sigmi and Bob are both looking pretty dubious about the whole thing, especially Bob. You sure you want to skip out on that whole whole um, traveling around signing autographs thing, Bob? Yeah, it's not too late. Yay! Three, two, one, and go. Getting a fairly uh, <coughs> high level of oscillations here, but it's within within tolerable limit, tolerable tolerable, tolerable limits. More significant question is whether this thing can get to orbit at all. Give a map you set up. At some point, I'd like to take a plane over and check all this stuff out. That's pretty cool. Standing by for first aid separation. First stage separation and second stage ignition. Yeah, 
and I figure out a, a plane that would uh, last long, both last long enough, and uh, also not be too boring to uh, fly around at that distance. It'd be kind of cool to check that stuff out. It's some sort of suborbital space plane I can take over there. Okay, standing by for gravity turn at 13,000 meters. Looks like the uh, vibrations have settled out for whatever reason. Okay, preparing for gravity turn at 13,000 meters. 13,000. Uh oh, settle out, settle out. Okay. All systems are nominal. Green shot. Standing by for a second stage separation. And second stage of separation. <coughs> okay, now in theory it should start climbing up uh, much faster now, but uh, the question is whether it will actually get to orbit or not. Now I do have a small engine here, uh, but that would that I wouldn't rely on that to uh, do anything more than just round out uh, the last little bits of an orbit. And if I had to be a betting man right now, I would bet probably that we're not going to make orbit. But we'll see. Well, and I didn't even give any thought to lining up with a fucking station. Damn it. Well, we'll see if we get we get into orbit, then we'll worry about getting getting lined up on the station. How much fuel? None in there. About a half tank there. It might be enough. Okay, uh, at about T minus uh, 45, we will uh, go ahead and uh, start our circularization burn. Okay, T minus 45. And it is sucking down that fuel like it's going out of style. I don't think it's going to get to orbit. Alright, well, let's hold off until we get to about uh, T minus 20 uh, before we uh, continue with this.
Oh, fuck. There went the engines. Okay. Couple. Oh, that's kind of cool. Little bits of, uh, space debris. Now the question of whether I can actually achieve orbit uh, the rest of the way with just this little engine. I'm not looking all that positive just at the moment. I'm looking like it's going to be a suborbital flight. Okay, well what I gotta do is I got to um, barrel through this uh, low altitude patch uh, and then um, level out the orbit once I get uh, once I get uh, up to my apoapsis. Uh, now in a worst case scenario, uh, I've got lots of monopropellant. I could probably deorbit the craft on monopropellant alone. Uh, or on the abort engines alone, probably. Uh, but, uh, we'd rather not do that. Okay, well, let's see uh, what happens when we get around the other side. Okay, somehow or other, I'd managed to make orbit. Now, let's go ahead and. Did I set up an action for the solar panels? Was I smart? Yes, I was. There we go. Let's go ahead and, um,. <laughs> Bob Kerman is just screaming his guts out. Now let's go ahead and uh, let Jebediah have a spacewalk. In his usual professional manner. Let's go around, check, check out everything. Sure everything is as it should be. Screenshot. Uh oh, dump, 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 dump into, into the solar panels. Jeb. 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 Jebediah is very unhappy about being cheated from uh, uh, from uh, being the first. Kerbal on the Mun, but uh, he's a he's a big guy. He can get over it. Good job. Okay, now the problem is, is that we didn't really uh, set up um, to rendezvous with the uh, with the station because I guess we really weren't sure that we were going to be in space. Uh, so um, here's us. Uh, here's the Pal Ute. Uh, I could do one or two things. I could just uh, accept this as a training mission and go and splash them down uh, and um, try again with a, on a course to uh, rendezvous. 
or I could try to um, up my orbit a little bit and give him them a chance to uh, catch up to me. But it's going to take a while because there's we don't have a whole lot of uh, difference in altitude between two of them. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and call this a test mission uh, and uh, and uh, deorbit uh, and uh, then when we're when we're uh, we'll we'll launch it again uh, when we're actually set up to rendezvous with the uh, station. I just call this a test flight. Okay, that was all for that. Uh, we'll use the abort engines to give us a bit more thrust. There we go. And we should splash out down not too far from uh, the uh, space center. And it goes first, yes. Yeah, we need one good test in order to um before we get to regular operations here. Might as well separate that. Oop, what did I separate? Did I separate anything? There we go. Uh, now this thing could rip off this stroke parachute. It's just held on with little little, little spindly things, uh, so it could well rip off. But even then, probably would uh, serve some some form of purpose. Nothing's looking up there, Bob. Good. Nobody's screaming yet. Unless it's you. You might be screaming. Okay. Can't really see anything because the planet's out back. Uh, Jebediah, I assume you're in the commander seat. Yes, you are. Of course. Of course. Where else would you be? Okay, well, I'll stop recording until something starts happening. Okay, we're flying right over to the Space Center. Uh, there's uh, Bill Kerman down there, uh, who's probably just as happy to be doing ground testing.
about 20,000 will pop this drogue. Hey Bill, how's it going? How's that ground truss testing working out for you? Still testing ladders? <laughs> There's Bill. Okay. Drogue. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a rock and rolling, rock and rolling light ride. There's actually an airstrip on that island with uh, some of the models of the old command pod on it. There's probably Easter eggs look at all over the place. I just haven't had a chance to look. Okay, in about um, 7,000 meters or so, we'll pop the main chutes. Pop the shoots. Thank you. I think we've got uh, we got uh, shoot opening. No, that's the, just the drug shoot. Look, our main chute's about to pop open here. Hope it doesn't slow down too much because there ha has been a bug in the past where if a parachute's actually slowed down to zero, they'll drop. Okay. That's good. It's about 20 uh, kilometers away from the uh, the uh, spaceport. We'll go ahead and drop the uh, drogue. And the drogue held up fine, even though it's only, only stuck on with that little toothpick there. And splash down. Okay. Well, that was a successful test mission. Uh, maybe we'll get somebody to the station next time. Okay, I went ahead and uh, launched the uh, Palute uh, Science Module. Um, so I'll have that already there when I uh, uh, get people up there so they can do some science. Science! Okay. Let's get this uh, 
aligned properly. Uh, give me a little forward. Oh, RCS forward. Forward. And a little bit down. And just a hair to the right. I want to get it lined up because I've got this ladder here that will connect up to the. Uh, oh, but it's. Well, well, it's okay. Well, while the solar panels are lined up, the. Uh, doors aren't, so I've got to actually light up the doors first. Okay, hold off on that. Hold that thought. Okay, now the doors are more or less lined up. Okay. Now we need just a little bit of up and a little bit of left. And of course it pops into docking mode, regardless of what I want. be lined up pretty good. Looks like the doors are lined up pretty good. I see I got a ladder here that I'll pop out and it will um, allow me to, uh, well, or it would allow me to walk from one door to the other, except for the fact that there is a lighting fixture in the way, which I didn't ever even think about, so I guess it doesn't really matter now. You can probably walk over that lighting picture though. Any kind of problems? Down, down, and connected. And a little bit wobbly. And quite a lot wobbly. Uh, let's go ahead and pop out. Oops. Go ahead and pop out the space center. Pop back in. Whoa, okay. And now let's try a little SAS. Okay. Much better. Nope, it's not. Okay, I just gotta have to uh, be resigned to the fact that it ain't gonna have no SAS. It really shouldn't matter that much. Okay. Now let's see if we've got uh, this aligned. Uh, looking good. Uh, time will tell whether that will actually work. Uh, so I need to retract it back, back to the uh, ladder so that uh, guys can come in and out. Okay, we got the uh, science module up. Uh, quite a bit wobbly though. Very, very wobbly. Okay. Let's see. Anything else I want to do while I'm here? Oh, that's about it. Uh, let's get some guys up here. Okay. 
Oh, this looks dandy. Let's launch. Uh, we still got uh, Bob, Bob, Jebediah, and Sigmi. Let's see if we can get the. Uh... Okay, I'll need to, need to have that go another go round. Throttle maximum. CS on. And launch. Since I'm running out of time for this episode, and since uh, I'm pretty sure this will get to orbit now. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, we'll catch up when we're uh, actually uh, getting close to the uh, station. I should call this the Wobbly Wiener Space Station because it's just wobbling like crazy. Which isn't realistic. I mean, uh, uh, docking uh, ports don't actually have uh, what you call play in them. Uh, they're a very hard uh, connection. Uh, uh, so the fact that this is wobbling the way it is is just not realistic. Uh, actual docking ports wouldn't work that way. Look at the look at the, the prograde indicator just bobbing all over the place. It's ridiculous. And it's definitely at the uh, docking ports that the wobble is happening. So. I sure hope that um, the folks at uh, Squad uh, fix that sometime soon. Because in real life, uh, docking ports wouldn't work, work work that way. It's a very hard connection. I mean, um, if you ever uh, uh, watch some of the uh, movies of Apollo, um, when the docking ports slam into place, they slam into place. I mean, you can hear them. Um, they're driving big ass bolts into the structure of the ship, so there ain't going to be wobbling any. <laughs> Not like this, no. Just ain't going to happen in real life. Uh, and uh, having wobbly uh, docking ports uh, screws up all kinds of other things, uh, like you're trying to build a ship out of multiple components. Uh, it's gonna, you're going to have to have a real issue if your ports are all wobbly. It's not bueno.
I mean, yeah, I can I can uh, pop out to the space center and back in. It'll be all be sorted out, uh, but I shouldn't have to. And um, if I were going to build a uh, composite uh, spaceship uh, out of bits in orbit, um, having wobbly ports is a big issue. Oh, damn it! Stay out of that. Uh, hopefully, that's something that they they uh, put out. Uh, that they change in one of their updates. Uh, because in uh, real life spacecraft, wobbly docket ports would not cut the mustard. Not even kinda. hard to see what's going on here. Let's close in a little bit. <laughs> the program indicator just going nuts. Just going nuts. From this angle, it's a kind of a weird-looking space station. It's some sort of, sort of flying bug or something. It's like we have to think of the docking ports up here as eyes or so, of some sort. Need to get closer before I can I can really judge where we're at. I don't even have the SAS on on that thing, so I'm not sure why it's uh, all freaking. SAS off, please. It's going to make it harder to, um, it's going to be moving, moving around a little bit, but at least it's not going to be janking around all the time. Figure out which way is up here. Uh, I don't have any RCS. Yeah, I got RCS. Why you no work? Maybe I should uh, tell it to control from a particular location where at least I can figure out what I'm. E e e. Okay, how about we uh, control from here? How about we get out of fucking docking mode? God damn it. Thank you. 
Oh, well, I got some end point pointed in that right direction. I just don't know which end. Okay, that end. Alright, well, let's give this a shot. Uh, let's back off a little bit. And when I approach that uh, wobbly asshole to. Uh, To, uh, violently. Stay out of docking mode, please. Thank you. Stay out of talking mode. Oh, you cocksucker. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work. SAS off, SAS off. Come on, stop making love and stick it. Okay, we're gonna pop right back out of, right back out to Space Center, Center. Pop back to the station. <laughs> Hopefully, it's done. Doing this wobbly. Okay. Well, it's back to doing this wobbly business. SAS off. It's the Wet Noodle Space Station. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get these boys into the HAB module. Uh, Bob and Sigmi are not happy happy travelers right now. Okay, Bob, space hero. Let's show show them how it's done here. Let's uh up a bit. Forward a bit. Well, not that much. Back. Up. Okay, here's the door.
Okay, that wasn't good. Okay, Bob, Bob, do you hear me, Bob? Bob. 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 Bob, do you... Come in, Bob. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Come in, Bob. Bob, Bob, do you read me? Bob, do you read me? Okay. Forward. No, don't go away. I actually sent this thing for a spin as well. Alright, well we need to um, withdraw that ladder because that ladder's not doing good things for us. Mission Control is uh, very unhappy because um, Bob is the only space hero they've got and uh, uh, they weren't really keen on him going back into space. They wanted to send him on a world tour, uh, but he uh, was about to uh, trick himself to death, so they figured he probably needed to go back out into space and escape his adoring fans. Uh, uh, so they're very unhappy that they almost lost Bob Kerman. But he's <laughs> recovered from his slight concussion <laughs> and uh, is now ready to reattempt to uh, enter the uh, hatch. <laughs> I have more trouble with hatches, man. Bob has more trouble with hatches. That well, pack fuel is still fine. Almost lost Bob again. Poor Bob. I think he wants to uh, settle down to a nice quiet life at the station once he gets in this hatch. If he ever does get through the hatch. Okay, nice and easy now, Bob. You don't want to have a repeat of your previous fuck-ups. <laughs> we really don't. We really don't want you to have a repeat of your previous fuck-ups. Okay, slow up, Bob, please. Slow up. not collide with the uh, solar panels or the antenna. Kind of mosey around to the back side of the station here. Find the door. Uh, the controllability of this station uh, leaves a great deal to be desired at this point. Boy. 
board. Okay, thank God. Okay, let's see if we can cease to rotate. Um, we turn flight control on. Of course, we're in no way pointed north anymore. Let's see if we can fix that. Okay, at least it's not wobbling too bad. Uh, get out of fucking docking mode, please. Thank you. Cocksucker. Why couldn't they just uh, have it detect the fact that you're you're using rotational controls, not translational controls, and adjust accordingly? Why wouldn't why would they do that? Why you no do that? Okay, that's close enough. All right, let's get um, get Sigmi out. Okay, Sigmi, be very careful. Don't be like Bob. <laughs> Bob, the suicidal astronaut. Although that's not quite fair since we keep on putting him in situations where he can get, get himself killed. Uh, so perhaps. Uh, Bob the murder victim might be a little more accurate. Yeah. <laughs> Bob the uh, the victim of a very bizarre, uh, broke, and ultimately unsuccessful murder attempts. And board. Okay, Jebedi. Come on down. Let's see how, how my uh, solar panels are aligned. Uh, pretty well. Okay. Let's get Jebedi in here.
Uh, nope, nope, didn't want to go that way. We're going head first. And board. <coughs> okay, well, despite some issues, so we've got uh, everything uh, all lined up here. Uh, and we got the science module on here. Now let's take a look at some of our science instruments. Uh, that's minus 90 despite being uh, in the sun. No. Uh, that's also minus 90 despite being in the sun. I mean, that's minus 90 despite being in the shade. Uh, I don't think his instruments work that well. That's cool, and that one's cooling off. Uh, that one's cooling off, but that's <coughs> the the ship is kind of rotating aimlessly uh, in a direction that would block out a lot of the sun. So that makes some sense. Uh, let's refuel the ship while we're here. Yeah, they really need something about these uh, docking ports. Um, they're just much too wobbly. Much too wobbly. So this, this thing, basically, at this point, is just uh, it's just going to roll where, wherever it wants to roll, and uh, whatever would like to dock with it needs to. Uh, Pretty much just make accommodations to wherever it happens to be, where it happens, wherever it happens to be rolling. Because if I put it on the SAS, that happens. Boink, boink, boink. No, we don't want that. Okay, well that's uh, all for this episode, uh, and until next time, hasta la vista. Okay, it turns out that the, um, for whatever reason, the um, the problem with it uh, shooting astronauts out into deep space has nothing to do with the uh, with the ladder. Uh, it's uh, something else. Uh, something else is wrong. But uh, apparently, I cannot get these guys out of here without having them shot into deep space. <laughs> so I just thought I would add that little update. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, they're they're recovering. They don't have any, anywhere else to go out here. So it's not like the the, the fuel is a uh, problem uh so uh, all right